Hi, this is Frank Taylor bringing you Nature in Your Backyard. It's the first week of May, and I want to show you some things that are blooming now. Because I've been following spring, and we've been show, uh, seeing, and I've been showing you things that you can find. And this is one of the things that I want you to find in your yard today after you see this video. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. Never uh, and there's to make this invasive. Dogwoods are flowering. And I just took a couple swipes. Terrestrial environment. Uh, produce seed pollen. And it's. The plant I'm going to show you is, uh, is called sink foil. And sink foil is one of those plants that a lot of people will call, oh, that's a weed, and that's a weed, and that's a weed. But this plant that's a weed maybe to us today, because it's growing in our manicured lawn, was a, a plant that was actually brought here from Europe by European settlers. Now, why would European settlers bring a weed to, the, uh, to America? Well, this wasn't a weed to them. This was something very useful. And remember, when settlers arrived here in the 1600s or 1700s, they didn't have pharmacies here. They didn't have drugstores. Um, they had to grow their own food and, grow, and, and get their own medicines. So sink foil was brought in the settlers' gardens with them uh, to the United States because it was very useful to them. Uh, uh, so many of these plants that we call weeds were actually very useful. So I'll, well, let's go up and I'll show you what to look for, how to find this plant, and see if you can find it later today. So here I am walking through the backyard and I'm going to look for some yellow colored uh, flowers. The flower I'm looking for has five petals and I've just spotted one now. So let's go down and check this one out. So if we look at this flower, we can see that it has one, two, three, four, five petals. So you're going to look for a yellow colored five petaled flower. And uh, let's check out Let's check out its leaves. So here is, and I'm struggling with this, the sunlight here. Um, let's see if I can get a good view of the leaves of this flower. And you can see that the leaves have five leaflets on it. Well, and if you, if you consider its name, the name is sink foil. And sink foil means, uh, sink is the French word for five. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq. So it gets its name because of the five leaves. Now the leaves have a jaggedy edge, and if you at first you look at these and you don't see these lower two leaves, it looks like a lot like the leaves of a wild strawberry. Um, so this is how you distinguish it from the wild strawberry because it has five leaves, and wild strawberry has a white colored flower while this one has a yellow colored flower. Its scientific name is Potentilla, which uh, is a derivative or, or the original derivative of the word potent. So why was this potent? Well, this plant has a lot of chemicals in it called tannins. And tannins is an astringent. And astringent are things that make your uh, capillaries or blood vessels contract. So this plant was used to uh, make a poultice to help stop bleeding. It was used as a mouthwash, like if you had sores in your mouth and stuff, uh, you could make a mouthwash with this. And it had many food uses too. The leaves were eaten both in a salad and as a, a pot herb. Um, and um, uh, the root, apparently it has a starchy root that can be eaten kind of like a potato. So here we are in the lawn looking at um, these plants here that are growing right here that people call weeds, and they're really very useful plants. So go out and see if you can find sink foil today. Look for first a yellow flower, 
and the yellow flower will have five petals. And then see if you can trace, carefully trace that stem back and see if you can find the five jaggedy leaves. The leaves extend out almost like a hand. So see if you can find it. The plant is named sinkfoil. Many, many uses historically. Today, it's just left as a weed. Um, and that's the story behind many, many of these plants that uh, we'll find in, in the lawn. And as, as summer progresses, I'll be taking you out and I'll be showing you more different plants and telling you each one's story.